Hi guys, this video is going to be a super quick video of the sorting hat from Harry Potter and I've just dyed like a murky brown colour in my modelling paste. So for this one I've used the Renshaw's Flower and Modelling Paste. So it's got a little bit of brown and a little bit of black food colouring in there. And I'm going to roll it reasonably thin and cut out a circle. The size of your circle will obviously depend on the size hat you want. I'm only doing a small one. And I've also, I've just pinched the edges slightly with my finger to thin it out and to give it an uneven edge. And I'm just going to pop it on some kitchen roll once it's cut out, just so that it doesn't stick to my work surface. And for the main part of the hat, I'm going to take a large ball of the same colour and I'm going to roll it into a cone shape. Now I want it reasonably tall cone. Just keep measuring it against the circle that you've rolled out so we can see how it fits. Just cut a little bit off the bottom. That fits a little bit better now. And I'm just going to use this Dresden tool. So it's just a modelling tool. You can use anything that you can just get a little line in with is fine. And we're going to put crease marks now across the whole hat and have a look at an image of the sorting hat. So you can see whereabouts the creases form. So I've put quite a few up near the top and a few near the bottom. We're going to go even deeper to create a mouth. I'm going to try and open that up just a little bit. Then above the mouth, we're going to press lightly with our fingers to kind of create two eye sockets. Now above those eye sockets, we're going to push some more lines kind of going downwards. So it looks like it's frowning. So we're going to push that down into a frown, just deepen those eye sockets slightly. Again, just using the modeling tool. Play around with it with your fingers, just adjusting it where you want them to go. So we're going to deepen them even further still. So going above and below sort of the eyebrow line, we're exaggerating his frowned expression. Then we'll put some more smaller lines in. We'll try and add what looks like a little fabric patch just by scoring in the lines. Just going to do a bit more work now into the creases, into the eyes and the mouth, till you're happy with what it looks like. So I think I'm about happy with that now. Now we're going to dust him up just with the edible dust and I'm going to use them dry. I've got a chocolate brown one that I'm using at first and then I've also got a darker brown and a black. I'm just brushing over lightly with the milk chocolate colour one. Then we'll go over with the darker one. Go into the creases with the darker colours so that it looks more shaded, so the light wouldn't get into those creases. So we need to make them a little bit darker. So it's a little bit harder to see on camera. It doesn't look quite as dark in person as it does on the video. So I'm going to go in the deepest places now with the black, just to make sure they're really nice and dark. So can you see we've gone over him? And then anywhere that you want to lighten up again, we'll just use that milk chocolate colour brown, just to add a little bit more colour like that. And just make sure you've also got the colours around the rim of the hat. I'm not too bothered about doing the centre because it's going to be covered up. And I'm going to push that onto the disc of the hat. Now, I haven't done the back at the moment because I had hold of him via the back. So we'll dust that up. So stick him on and then we're going to dust around the very bottom edge around like the circle of the hat. And there he is, all finished. I'm just going to let him set now overnight. I hope you've enjoyed the video and do keep an eye out for my next Harry Potter tutorial, which will be a little Dobby figure. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.